Hello, welcome to part one of our four part healthy family series. I'm Lana Plunkett. I'm Justin. I like this. And we are super excited for our first video today. It's going to be all about healthy grocery shopping and how to include the whole family. So uh, just a disclaimer, this is an example of healthy grocery shopping. So kind of a guide that you can um, use these tips and then kind of make things your own. So with that being said, we've got four main tips before you even hit the store. So Justin, what's tip number one? We have to be prepared, make a plan. We don't wanna just go in and make it. We need to know what we need. Yeah. Sure, sure. And what does that making a plan include? Can you hold that up for us, Lucas? Making a grocery list. Making a grocery list. Awesome. So you're going to help me fill that out, right? Yep. Okay, great. So tip number two would be don't shop hungry. Eat a snack before uh, you, you go. Yes, 100%. So Lucas and I are eating some Kind Bars, mini Kind Bars, because we enjoy those. And Justin is having what that's like a mandarin orange. Mandarin orange. <laughs> so yeah, make sure if you do feel hungry, just get you a little snack. It's going to help you to prevent you from like making those impulsive decisions while you're at the store. So tip number three. Shop around the perimeter. Um, because that's where most of the healthier options would be located. Um, yeah, definitely. So for number four, if we have to go into the middle of the store, know what you need to get it. Exactly, yeah, know what you need. Because if we just kind of mindlessly walk through those snack aisles, who knows what's gonna happen. So if we're going in the middle, we're going in, we're being intentional, we know what we need to get. All right, so let's see, we've got our bags ready. One more thing, um, we are in a pandemic, so normally it's recommended one person per cart, but for family shopping purposes, we are gonna make an exception, we will be masking up and social distancing, of course. All right, so let's go ahead and fill out our list and then we take our bags and get ready to go. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's the Plunkets back again for another just follow-up kitchen table discussion about healthy grocery shopping. So guys, I just have a couple of questions that I'd like to ask you. Justin, what is your advice to parents on how to get kids involved in like the healthy 
shopping process. Let kids pick out a variety of different healthy options. Okay, so like let them have a say in picking out some different like fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Let them kind of get to choose. Okay, and so Lucas, what are some of your favorite healthy options? My favorite healthy, healthy options are bell peppers and avocados. Awesome, what about you? Oh, pineapple and cucumber. Great, these are great things. So like, let me ask you, like, did you always like bell peppers and avocados? I did not always like them. You didn't. What about you? I've always loved pineapple. You've always loved yeah, pineapple. Yeah, but cucumber takes some time. Okay, so I think like what you guys are saying is like the more times you tried things, like some of these things you maybe didn't originally like, they kind of started to grow on you and now they've become some of your favorite healthier foods. That's great. Like grow on you. <laughs> Not literally on you, but just like on your preferences, like how you can begin to prefer them. Okay, so now that we talked about healthy things, let's talk treats. One thing that uh, we kind of adhere to in this house, I like to think of things in balance, so I think it's good to show kids that treats are okay, that we can eat a balanced diet, they can be included in our diet, right? We just need to make sure that they're in moderation and that we're not just like living off of treats that were nourished and meet our nutritional requirements. So like in this house, what's kind of like a guide that we follow when it comes to it's, treats? It's usually like uh, one treat a day, but on like holidays and times we're having fun. Yeah, we definitely. Or sometimes even on the weekends we do like more than one treat a day, but we still make sure to get in like our main nutrients as well, right? Awesome. Okay, so lastly, I have a I have a question for you. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes, I do. Um, what would be your best tip for parents about Oh, okay. Tip for parents. That's a good one. All right, all you parents out there, this is what I would say. Um, Kids are not always excited about grocery shopping at first. I mean, obviously every child is different and we all have kids that are different ages, but just my personal experience is that even though they might not be excited about it at first, the more you continue to include them and just focus on what they find interesting, even if that's something like pushing the cart or putting produce in a produce bag, like compliment that, highlight that, let them have some choices and picking out different things. Um, don't overload them with too many changes or expectations. Just try a couple new things at a time and just try to keep it fun and like, so that's probably what I would say. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Goodbye. I hope these tips help you. Thank you for having with us. Have a good day.